we're, we're trying to try this thing again. I don't, I have really, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. So, I'm going to see if he's going to get on again, and then we're going to try to add him once again, and then go from there. So, hey, Nikki. Okay, so Alfonso, I need you to click the person at the bottom so I can bring you on. Okay. Trying to add you. One. My goodness. It's a fight to get you on. <laughs> I think I went, What's going on? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm just like, what is he doing? Because I was uh, on, but it was. I think I was through the watch party. Okay. So it wouldn't let me. So, is it? See, now I don't know how to add my groups. I might just have to share them later. I don't want to do anything and it's going to click you off. So, welcome to the live. Um, hey. You know, I was telling them that you are my one of my brilliant friends and I need to uh, get you on here. Hey, I'll tell you. Drop some of this knowledge. I'll tell you. I always carry, I always carry two cents, so I can help somebody somewhere. Okay. <laughs> So I, I, I don't know how to add my group to it now that you're on. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, what I can do, I can just go back and share it later. So you guys, um, of course, when you come on or later watch the replay, make sure you share this information. Um, and we're going to start. We're just going to start because I know you're on a time crunch. Yeah. So, you guys, this is Alfonso, and um, he's going to be dropping some knowledge um, in regards to starting a business and or building websites. Okay, go ahead and start. So, um, I guess the first thing in terms of uh, if anybody who has any type of uh, vision and they want to start a business, something that you really want to consider is how you structure that business. Um we all get excited in the idea or concept that we have, but we want to make sure we take the proper steps. And that is one of the first steps is to become a legalized business. And there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, you can do it either sole proprietor way, which where you would get a DBA doing business as certificate uh, from your county that you live in, or you would do it the, I would say the, a better way, which would be more protection between you and whatever adventure that you're doing and the, uh, yourself, and your personal assets, and that's through uh, incorporating. So um, the first thing to think about with incorporating is which state that you're going to incorporate in. There's mm -hmm. your particular business technically can be incorporated in any state, even though you may operate in a different state. So it all depends on what type of business you're doing. Uh, if it's a business where you won't necessarily have operations in the state that you live in, it could be like an online business, a lot of your dealings online, and you can take advantage of uh, incorporating in states that don't have uh, state taxes. Uh, if it's a business where you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that would be Wyoming, Nevada, Delaware, uh, Texas. These are states that do not have uh, state taxes. So when you're doing your taxes, on your when you do your taxes, you're only going to need to do a federal tax uh, and also an um, uh, annual statement or annual report in that particular state. Uh, if, you're do, if you are doing business in the state that you live in and it's not the states that I mentioned, then you may want to um, consider... Uh, you, you'll need to do a state uh, income tax uh, come tax time for that business. Um, so there's okay. So those are things you want to consider. You know, uh, they have tax accountants 
that can help you with that decision. Uh, there's a lot of information online as well. Um, it just depends on uh, what type of business you're doing. Real estate uh, type ventures uh, can be considered in the state that you're in. So you may want to consider uh, incorporating in that particular state. And then you can have a parent company in another state. And the parent okay. company uh, has interest or operations in a different state. And therefore, you would be considered a foreign uh, entity in that state. Um, and so, therefore, you would incorporate as a foreign entity in that state. And that will allow you to have those uh, protections as a corporation and be able to operate in the state that you're going to have the uh, operation, uh, even though your okay. actual business is in a different state. Uh, so it, it's, you just have to map it out uh, the best course of action, but I definitely think you should look at incorporating. Um, today, I'm, today uh, in today's times, um, LLCs are a good option, uh, but there are also uh, C Corps and S Corps. These are your more traditional okay. corporations. Uh, what they say usually, if you have those, are usually for bigger businesses, uh, bigger operations where you're going to have um, multiple members, multiple operations underneath one entity. You you may look at uh, those type of structures. Uh, if it's a small business, uh, LLC uh, can be beneficial to uh, what you're trying to do and accomplish because. With the LLC, one of the main advantages is that the uh, you don't you're not taxed twice, right? So the um, the thing about a corporation, uh, LLC or C corp, is treated as a as its own entity, whereas you the person is treated as an entity. Your business is treated as a separate entity, even though you own it, and so therefore it has tax advantages as an entity itself. Uh, with the LLC, the profits and losses of that entity pass back to the owner. And so that could be okay. beneficial with how you, you're not taxed twice. The business is taxed and then you're taxed. And so therefore, it's less money for the owner because you have to pay more taxes. The LLC allows you to report these, the operations of the business, but the tax consequences are passed back to the ownership. Uh, and so you're only taxed at one time on your uh, your own personal taxes as a uh, income. Could you, um, could you explain, because I get um, some people that ask me um, that's running a business that they, they have not um, went through the proper steps to um, to go on downtown filing their paperwork or like say for instance if someone um, started um, a mobile detail business or like selling, you know, dairy, not dairy, um, bakery products or something like that. So what would you tell someone like that? How do they go about getting that business official? So the first thing I would, the first thing I would tell them is, well, so let's say, let's just to keep it simple, you're going to incorporate in the state that you're in. Uh, and so then you're going to look to uh, go to the secretary of state's website uh, once you go to the Secretary of State's website, you're going to look for what they call organization form. And then the organizer, which doesn't necessarily have to be the owner, but the person is going to incorporate uh, state that this is going to be a business in the state, that person mm -hmm. is going to file those forms with the state. Uh, so it's going to be an uh, organization. This is the name of the business. Uh, the business is going to be either set for a certain amount of time or what they call perpetual or forever until designated by the, the company. When, mm -hmm. What date is this business going to start on? Is it going to be the date of the filing or in the future? You may not need to start it right now. And then you're going to list okay. who are the owners of the business. There are what, if it's an LLC, you'll list who the members are which would be the owner of the business. The person that lists all that, they'll sign the bottom as the organizer, and then they'll mm -hmm. also on there say that they are list who the registered agent is. A registered agent is a person that the state sends all information dealing with this business to that particular person. Mm -hmm. It could be a company, it could be a person, 
Um, it could be a, um, you can find some registered agents online. If you're doing the business in state, then you may want to consider either yourself or somebody else that has an in-state address that's not a PO box to be any paperwork that deals with the business legally will be sent to that address. And they will then hand okay. to the owners. It could be yourself as a registered agent as well. It just has to be somebody that lives inside, somebody or some business that lives inside that state of incorporation. Okay. Once all that's set up, uh, you then take the information, file it. You'll get a, you'll get back a charter number. That particular charter number is what you're going to take, and then you're going to also file your EIN with the IRS. The EIN, the employer identification number, is the number that allows for you as a business to have your own. It's like a social security for the business. Mm -hmm. It allows, yes. it is the uh, number that's going to be in the tax file of the IRS. So once this, once this, into, once this number is created, it is always going to be attached to that particular business. If you need to change okay. the name of the business, you would then file a letter with the IRS stating that you're going to change the name for that particular EIN. If the business mm -hmm. closes, you would tell the IRS they need to close that particular EIN. And no matter what, that particular number will never be used again. It's always attached to that to that entity. That's good. Once that's, that's good set up, that. you got your EIN, you got your charter number with the state, you're going to take those two things and go to a bank, and then you're going to get a bank, open a bank account in the business name. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing that people, a lot of people mess up on is they start this business, but they attach it to their personal bank account. That is a huge risk because that means that those personal assets are liable with anything that the business does because the business has access to those funds. So one, one thing with asset protection that you want to do is uh, tie, separate the, your personal assets from this particular business. So you open up a bank account and you'll need, you'll need an EIN and you'll need a filing with the state, which is your charter number. Okay. So once you have those three things, the last thing that you want to do is, which is most important as well, is the operational agreement. Uh, they, they tell you that no, uh, a business can be pierced, meaning that your personal assets can be liable if you do not have a bank account, if, you're not, if you do not have a good standing with the state, and if you do not have an operational agreement. And also, if you do not keep uh, current records. But the operational agreement is the structure of the business. Who owns what, when, where, and why? If you sell any assets, if you buy anything, the operational agreement states all that. Uh, you can get one created. You can do all this through uh, legal zoom. Everything that I told you, they do it for you. Um, or you can just take the steps that I've told you and do it yourself as well. Operational agreement file with the state, get an EIN. Uh -huh. The EIN is free. The state filings range between, it all depends on what state you live in. Uh, Cal <laughs> California is $800 to file, to Ooh, 800? 800. Jeez. Uh, oh my goodness. Texas is 300 to incorporate. Um, okay. Missouri is 150. Uh, Delaware, I think, is like 250. So it just depends on this. In uh, Wyoming, it's like uh, 100. So it just depends on what state you're in. Here in North Carolina, it's 125. 125. Um, mm -hmm. And that's to incorporate as a domestic corporation. Uh, some states, a foreign corporation, meaning that, meaning that you're incorporated somewhere else and you want to operate in that other state, that fee could be the same as a domestic or it could be different. Like in Texas, it's $300 to incorporate as a domestic, meaning uh, domestic corporation. But if another entity from outside comes, want to do operations in Texas, they have to pay seven fifty to incorporate. As a, mm -hmm. So it just depends on your your operations and what you're trying to do. Okay, um, so I put up I put up their um, websites too oh. because um, you know you probably was getting tired of me uh, calling you. Oh, no. <laughs>
of that website. <laughs> never that, never that. So um, could you tell the people um, a little bit about website and some of the things that you help people do in regards to website? So what, what, my, what my business is, uh, Interactive Vision Solutions, uh, what we do is we bring technical products to the marketplace. And one of those things that we, uh, one of our uh, operations is dealing with web hosting. Uh, and so we offer services through uh, dataskysolutions.com, uh, which allows for you to create a website, create a web presence, and be able to put your brand out on the internet. Uh, one thing that you want to do when you're creating a business, you want to have a web presence. Uh, anybody that looks you up, anytime you need to send out something, you want to be able to have a reference point on the internet. Think of the internet as real estate. You want to have your place designated that anybody can go to to validify whatever you say or put out. Uh, and so having that uh, web presence is important. And so creating a website, you can have a Facebook page, right? Uh, you can have, some people don't have a website, but I think you should have a website because that just gives you more validity and people will take you more seriously in whatever product or services that you sell because you have a point of reference that shows you, you took the time to express your content or brand to the, to the marketplace. Uh, and so what we offer is the ability for people to create websites. Um, there's multiple ways to create a website. You could have a web developer. You can pay somebody as a web developer. You give them your idea. They can create the web website from scratch. You have what they call web builders, which is pre-designed uh, concepts that allow you to plug and play, drag and drop different things around on the website to where you get it to where you want it to present to the public. Or you can do um, you can kind of both of those, excuse me, both of those, which is to do, a, uh, which is like a WordPress, which gives you the ability of structure while allowing, or while allowing you to add coding and different concepts to the website to make it more, um, adjust the sites to more whatever you need to put out you know, to the public. Um, and so we offer all those different options uh, for anybody that needs a website built. Okay. So you guys, um, what, so, Alfonso is really big on cryptocurrency. That's how actually I met him. And because I wanted to know more information about cryptocurrency. And through that, I learned that he do websites and all and, and like a thousand other things. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I said, let me get connected with him because <laughs> he's doing like a thousand things. And I just want to, um, to be able to share that information with people. So it's important that if you have a um, business to get it um, started legally, <laughs> properly, instead of, so what they say, under the table. <laughs> you you operating under the table. Um, and it's important to have a website, too. So that's one of the reasons why I, I got your man up here today. <laughs> I just want to ask for that. Um, that. Since you mentioned that, uh, operating uh, above board, it, it allows you to then write off all these expenses. Uh, as they okay. say, you could live through your business. So there's a lot of everyday things that you do that you normally just spend money on. Those can now become legal business deductions and you can ethically justify these things because as long as you do some type of business activity within the effort of whatever you're doing, they, be, they can become expenses to the business. And so it just is a benefit to you in how you, your lifestyle and how you're living. You can then uh, deduct those things and help on your taxes in the end. And that's part of, you know, playing that court, uh, the uh, tax game and mm -hmm. making more beneficial to you, especially to somebody. Not everybody has kids, but if you have kids, you have certain deductions, right? But if you don't have kids, or if your kid's too old, your kid is out of school, or they're, they're no longer dependents, then you're missing those deductions. Well, those deductions can be 
part of your business living expenses uh, and operation expenses that you normally just every day use, you can use the yes. business if you do it right. And that's just, that helps and uh, reduces your tax burden. So that's just one of the things I wanted to uh, mention why you want to, you always incorporate, especially with the president that we got now. If you notice, a lot of the laws have been shifted to big business. A lot of laws are mm -hmm. to small business in general. So then part of playing the game is to stay ahead is to how do you as a person take advantage of the system that's out there, right? Instead of instead the system corrupting you or you being burned by the system, learning how to play within the system. And one of those things is to have some type of business operation that you can then live through while trying to make a, a profit, but also help reduce your tax burden. Okay. So how can um, people connect with you and some of your thousands of businesses you got going <laughs> So <laughs> I'm just joking. You ain't about that. <laughs> okay, something is frozen. Oh, did I fall off? There I go. Okay. We're, Sorry about we're, that. we're good now. Okay. Uh, so one way to connect with me is you can uh, find me on Facebook as Lefty AB123, um, or you can find me through um, the, the business, which is uh, Interactive Vision Solutions uh, or Optimus Maximus Solutions. Um, as you see, I got various ventures. Uh, yes, <laughs> he really does. You, you can... He's just not mentioning <clears throat> hardly any of them right now. <laughs> I'm only here for the people for what they need. Uh, okay. yeah, you can you can find me that way. Uh, you can uh, okay. shoot me an email as well. That all my information is on my uh, my profile as well. So okay, so what exactly could you actually help the people with? Um, because I know I'm gonna get a message. I promise you, I'm gonna get a message. Uh, so what could you assist some of the people with? If anybody need help starting a business, they need some. Uh, consultation with that respect. They could um, contact me if they need uh, web services. Then I can uh -huh. I can uh, shoot them to the platforms that we have that allows for them to help create their make a bold statement on the web, uh, make a blog, okay. or if you need um, help with concepts or thinking out things, I'm, I'm I like to help people in that respect as well. Uh, being able to take your idea and help uh, elevate that concept to where you can take some type of real action. Uh, so just okay. just uh, hit me up and or like I say www.dataskies.com if you're looking for uh, web solutions uh, for your okay. personal, personal sites as well. Okay. So do you have anything else before we... Um it off? No, I'm good. Anything else with me? No. Let me know. Okay. Um. Well, you guys. Thank you thank for having you me. For joining the live. You're welcome. You you know I'm still gonna be blowing you up oh, like I always oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> like hey, I need some help. <laughs> but he's um. You guys, he's a, he is definitely truly um dedicated to where he's what he's doing, and he is a great help. I don't know if he helped other people like he helped me, but <laughs> I definitely appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the help because all my I'm life always... I've had to fight. <laughs> Stop. Stop. So you guys, thank you for coming on. And listen, I know you guys see me drinking this. This is not a recommendation, okay? <laughs> it's not a recommendation. You got sponsors already, like huh? Uh, you got sponsorship already. In the name of Jesus. I love both of them. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, you guys have a um, blessed day. Thank you, Alfonso. I definitely appreciate you coming on. And you guys, if you need to um, connect with him, he is one of my mutual friends on Facebook. But um, look him up on the information that he did provide. But if you can't find that, go to the replay. Alfonso, do you mind putting um, a link under um this yeah I, i'll go ahead and do that okay so they can um, um know how to contact you after the fact 
And thank you, Ms. Dolores. <laughs> and you guys have a great day. Bye. Thank Everybody you. Bye. Take care. You too.